Hello everybody, my name is Paul T. Williams, or you can call me Paul, and I think in this part we're going to explore the rest of the Frontier Cavern. Alright, uh, see some, see some, uh, th things I don't like over there. Alright, I think I have a solution. Uh, Olmar's going to go out there and uh, take care of business. With the purples. All right, I uh, gotta take care of this guy. Gotta take care of that bull boar before they, uh, you know, wake up that snowy bull bear. All right, that's how I take care of business. It seems to be all gone, but I just gotta make sure. Okay, there's one more over there. Alright, just gotta wait till he uh, comes over. Makes, makes that little poker face of his. And he's done. Alright, all threats are eliminated, so now we can retrieve the treasure. Alright, not too bad. Uh, I'll throw the yellows up here, see if they can get it. Alright, and the rest will carry this back. Alright guys, carry that all back, then we can move on to the next floor. Pretty, pretty good start, you know, not, not too dangerous. I love the bubble so alive, it moved. All right, this is the joy receptacle. All right, now we got this, uh, what looks to be some sort of shoe. Name, icon of progress. All right, that's everything on this floor. Time to go in deeper. Now, for this next floor, I need to be extra careful. There are two enemies that I'm worried about. Besides the electricity. Okay, just uh, first thing. First thing I'm probably gonna do is take care of this. Okay, we have a new type of enemy that is right over there. As you can see, it's a bull board with its leaf on its head. So, uh, do what you do best. Alright, so, now this enemy houses a new type of Pikmin. The confused bull board has fallen in with the Pikmin. They appear to coexist peacefully. Strange, this bull board has a leaf sprouting from its spine, much like the leaf on a Pikmin's head. So these are classified as boldmen. Ah, uh, shoot, that's not good. All right, uh, I'm gonna have Olimar distract this bulborb. Then we can talk about the new type of Pikmin. All right, so he's gonna remain over here. Okay, so I will show off the introduction of boldmen. They are immune to most hazards. Okay, so that, that means they, they can take care of fire. They can take care of poison. And as you can guess, they can go into water. Which is also nice. They can also take care of electricity and, and such. The, the only thing Bulbin can't do is fi is dig find stuff underground, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, you know, pretty neat Pikmin to have, actually. 
I think I'm going to recover the first treasure of the floor. Ah, oh, thank god I got it out of the way before anything can happen. So Almer's just going to stay there distracting the bull bear name, fleeting art form. In fact, I think bullmen are also great for like when you want to like, uh, you know, turn Pikmin into other Pikmin. Okay, I thought that was a bomb for a second. You know how those are. Alright, so, uh, let me see. So, if you want, you can turn Bull Moon into, like, White Pikmin, but I don't need to do that. Alright, so, uh, I'm just gonna take care of the, uh, the, uh, menaces over here. Don't know why I went with Bullpen for this one. Alright, so, uh, they're gonna, so, Bull Bear's gonna try snacking on Olimar, but that's not gonna work. Probably gonna use a Bitter Spray if I can. So, that... Okay, yeah, I just want to take care of those, just in case. Alright, and I'm just gonna... Bitter spray him. And throw as many Pikmin as, on, as I can onto him. Alright, so the White Token can take care of this. They got it. Gotta say, it is pretty nice to have, uh, you know, more than more Pikmin. But yeah, uh, the the small bullman will only spawn if uh, you know you have le less Pikmin on the field. So don't go in with a hundred. <laughs> Name, danger chime. I think it's, uh, there. Alright. Come on, let's get, let's start digging, you guys. Wish I kind of, wish I kind of didn't throw all my, uh, whites over there. Ugh, it's gonna take a while. Why'd I do that? Guys, just start digging, please. Okay, you know what? It's gonna take forever. Hold on. We don't have that, we don't have that much time. Go on. Don't know why I did that. I don't know, I guess I didn't play it for a while. Alright, take this take this back to the ship, you guys. Look at it go. Alright, I think that's that's everything on this floor. Hopefully. There's probably going to be one part and it's going to be the entire uh, dungeon. Name. Gemstar. Husband. Alright, now we can continue. Alright, I remember when I was little, I used to die on this area a lot. Sorry, part of the floor. Alright, we got some Anno Dweevils. Sorry, Anno Beetles. You need to take care of him, and I also want to take care of the, uh, beetle up there. Sorry, the in- sorry, swimming snitch bug. Alright, uh, alright, this will be the safe haven. Alright, gonna split the party. So I, so I'm basically gonna go with Yellow Pikmin and Bolt and Boldman. All right, Louie, your time to shine. 
Uh, I'm actually gonna skip the the flower actually. All right. We just need to take care of that uh swimming stitch bug up there. Ah, uh, they got it. I just need to wiggle myself free. Let go of me, please. Uh, I don't, I don't, I mean, yeah. I'm actually gonna hold off on making, like, more... Let go of me, please. Come on, let go of me. <laughs> let go of me. <laughs> Ouch. Jerk. Oh, thanks for doing nothing. Oh, not again. You, stop that. And since bulb men are immune to electricity, you know, you know what, just in case, just in case, I'm gonna put all more over here. Now there should be one more treasure if I can find it. Name, Omnificent Sphere. All right, uh, yeah, we need to flower some of these guys. Everybody run! Let go of me, please! Don't appreciate that. Alright, I uh, just need to continue on. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, you... You, you, you fly bastard. <laughs> All right, Louis is gonna stay by the exit. Uh, looks like they aren't gonna do anything. We just need to wait. That should be the final treasure for this floor. There it is. All right, the start. All right, so that thing's gonna go in the ship. Name, Innocence, Loss. Alright, so we actually paid off the debt. But, you know, I think we can still collect treasure that, that I see, that I come across. Alright, sub-level five. Ah. Alright, throw your pigment at these butterflies, you might get something. Hopefully. No, nothing. Well, at least I got a droplet. Alright, so, uh, let's see. This span, I'm actually gonna put, actually gonna convert some of my Bulbman. I said Bulbman, not White Pikmin. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna turn some of them into blues. And, you know, we'll make the rest purples. There's also some... Alright, that is pretty good, I must say. Almar, follow me. Alright, gonna pick these Pikmin. Alright, pick that Pikmin. Ah, uh, that sounds like a game show or something. Alright. Alright, now we just need to uh, flower them all up. All right, now we can continue on. All right, so a new type of enemy. These are the watery dweebles. I know that's not their name. I'm sorry. I, I really can't say. I, I really can't say what they are. It's not offensive. It's just I can't pronounce it. As you can tell, uh, they uh, you know spurt out water, and this is a returning type of enemy. This was a secret secret boss, I guess. These are Mumutas. They don't kill Pikmin. Uh oh. Processing. How strange. This amatodical mental object came from that bizarre being. Came inside that bizarre being. It appears to be a giant metal hand. Perhaps it is an ancient work of art. So we actually got a special item early. Okay. 
we got a uh, special captain's item a bit early. So I, so I'll show off what the Mimita can do. So say if I have a Leaf Pikmin, it will actually slam the Pikmin into the ground, but it won't kill it. Okay, that was that was weird. Instead, it will plant into the ground, and any Pikmin that are in planted in in the ground automatically turn into flower Pikmin. So you know that is helpful. But you don't want to leave Pikmin. But you don't want to leave Pikmin into the ground when you when you're exiting a cave. If you do, you abandon them, and they and that and they are considered dead. All right. Alright, and we're all flower. And we're all flower, that's good. Name. Brutal. Knuckles. This object seems to replicate a humanoid fist. A glove much like it once laid in my junk hold. And here is the ver and here is that very glove. I just found the missing rocket fist in my junk hold. Press A to press Press punch to launch a one-two punch. Basically, you get like a combo and your attack strength is in, to get like an attack strength up. If I could demonstrate, I'm just going to park the pick one over here. Going to get real small on this one. Okay, yeah. So punching is increased and you get like a little special combo. Really helpful. All right, sub level six. All right. Oh no, bad, bad timing. Okay, I can handle this. Well, good, what, good demonstration to show off that that one two combo punch. As you can see, I am taking the enemy out much more efficiently as I would on on land. You know, and if you saw my earlier parts. Good thing it's not attracted to Louie. That, that's a good... Ouch. Maybe a bit too effective. Alright, so now we got some Mimutas. Oh, sorry. Sorry, not Mimutas. Water doubles. Busting out the purple boys for this one. Alright, come here. I dare you. Alright. Uh, wish I had... Alright. Reds, your turn. You know, we want to do this safely. Alright, Olimar, your turn. Alright, I... Alright, I see a problem over there. It's fine. Louie's got this. I'll fight you. I'll take you on. I ain't scared of you and your magnetic rocks. Alright, this could this could cause a problem. As in, it is in a bad spot. Okay, I think I have a solution. Uh, I know it's a big risk. You, you know what, I'll, I'll try it. Hope this works. Alright, we're gonna get near him. Hopefully, come on, shoot your boulder. Oh, no. No, no. Come on, get near him. Okay, that was a big risk, but I, but thank God I took it. Alright, that one just isn't fair. Alright, you know what? I uh, think I'm gonna go with... No, no. Wait, wait. We aren't gonna use the purple spray. Alright. 
I'll I'll take you on. Hope. Jerk. Come on, get him. All right. Fight me over here. Come on, shoot your rock right here. All right, we got this. I got this. I can use that to my advantage, I think. Okay, no. Oh, there it is. There's a bull board right over here. All right. Uh, first step, gonna take this guy out. Next step, gonna take on this. I guess it's just stupid. Luckily, we got that one-two punch. All right, got this. All right, your all right mission. You take this to the onion. Louis' mission with twenty blues. All right, I uh, need to take this out. Okay, second out. Now we need to take this one back. I mean, all hazards are gone, so it's fine. You know what, just make it go faster. Omar, I need you to see things over there. Alright, they got it. It'll be back to the ship in no time. Name. Priceless. Statue. Name, worthless, statue. If it's worthless, why do they cost the same? All right, let's go. Floor seven. Yeah, you know, I guess uh, in case you need to, uh... okay. New hazard, uh, this is falling rocks. When you see a shadow, Okay, but first, we have a near-distant glint beetle. Okay. Very good. Now we have two spicy sprays that we can get. As well as... Uh, flower up some of our Pikmin. That's good. That's gonna help us uh, continue on. Uh, Louie, come over here. We need to get some of that juice in us. Alright, so now we have, uh... Boulders. You know, so a little bit skeptical, skeptical on that. Alright, I think I have a way. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Here's, here's my strategy. Take our whites. Start running around. Whoa, talk about! <laughs> Alright, there's our first treasure. Okay, need to be careful. Could be booby trapped. 
Go that way, go that way, go that way, go that way. You idiots. You dumb, adorable idiots. Okay. I just need purples. Okay. Okay, just need to... Okay. I think I'm handling the situation well. Now we just need to move this over there. Okay, I don't think that's the bulbar that we need to uh, defeat. Okay. First treasure of the floor. Name. Spouse alert. Okay. Should be one more treasure. And it's in that bulb orb. Okay, just need to tread carefully. I need to take this guy out. Before we start digging, you know, just gotta make sure. Huh. Louis is going to see the operation. You know, just make sure that no bull, bull, orange bulb bull wakes up. Fine, all marble seat through the operation, making sure that no bull bull wakes up. Okay, we're in the clear. Gonna be some shit if Louie got hit, though. Name? Flame Trailer. Wait, Tiller? Uh, I'll go with Tiller. Alright, continuing on. Sub level 8. Okay, this is the final floor. All right, now before we move on. Okay, it's not in here. Uh, those are a new type of enemy. We'll, we'll get into it when, when we get into it. Uh, first first thing I'm probably gonna do is throw all my Pikmin up here. Uh, you'll see why in a second. As I'll be explaining the new enemy when I, when I can. Because we have a returning boss, but it but it but it but it makes a new type of enemy. Uh, you know, just it's just to be safe. Okay, so all our movies are gonna make their way up. All right, so we have the returning bulwarb larva. So the reason why I threw my Pikmin up here is that they can eat Pikmin in just one bite. Doesn't matter how much. Doesn't matter how much you you uh, throw. It's not gonna work. And we have the returning Empress Bull Blacks. And as you can see, uh, she's giving birth. Here, I'll here we'll we'll get a closer look. As you can see, it's a uh, it's the horrible wonders of birth. All right. Olimar is gonna go and get the Pikmin. Louis is gonna stand guard because, because you know, I I like to, you know, be safe about this. You know, I wish this game was two player actually. 
All right. So Louie's gonna beat the children. Uh, it makes sense, I swear, if whoever isn't watching this video. All right. So now all what Olimar's going to do is uh, get up here and start throwing his Pikmin. So unfortunately, because of the mo mother's massive size, she uh, squishes her babies. <laughs> So it's just like the it's just like the fight before. You know, throw your pick one on, call him out when she throws him off. Ah, oh, that poor baby. All right, we're gonna make it out. The All right, everyone, get over here, please. Okay, just just be safe. All right, everyone start attacking. We're almost done. And Louis is gonna make sure we kill the, the last of the, the last baby. Surprisingly, it drops a lot of nectar. Er, oil factory sensors overflowing. Wait, oh, oiler factory. Immense outer stink layer limits. The sense must be emanating from that object. Alright, so the boss finally gone. Now we can, uh, now we can, uh, take that last item. Really? And, you know, we made a little bit extra along the way. Gotta get that bonus. Alright, now there is one downside to, uh, Boldman, but we'll, 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 we'll reach there when we, re we'll, we'll get that, we'll get there when we get there. All right, looks like they almost got into the ship. Almost there. Name. Repugnant appear appearage. This object has pockets of air under its surface. It is the perf. It is perfect for the boots I am making. Processing complete. Nano assemblage of the rush boots is concluded. These these nullify wind resistance by circulate air beneath the shoe. You'll move fat. You'll move faster, and you'll no longer be blown away by puffy blowhogs nasal blasts. So basically, uh, you know, you can run as fast as 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 it. You can basically run as fast as white flowered Pikmin but as you can see they're being left behind uh, non-white Pikmin are being left behind so purple Pikmin are <laughs> gonna be more of a pain and as you can see the Bulman cannot come with us <laughs> I'm they it would probably break the game if they could all right cave complete and we have completed the valley of repose I think yeah. All right. And we're gonna wait. No, not Valley of Repose. I forgot. Yeah, I was sorry. Valley of Repose. And that is everything collected. And I think we paid off the debt. Great job, team. <laughs> I've repaid the entire debt. <laughs> Mission complete. You have earned ten thousand pokos. <laughs> Now Hulkate Freight will will be pressure prosperous and free prepare to blast off. We'll return to Hulkate triumphantly. Uh sorry, the <laughs> uh it's been a while since I've seen this, so I, I didn't have time to read. But I did say I would make this an eight day run. No well, six days is okay. All right, I'll miss all, I'll miss, I'll miss all the pigmen we made along the way. 
Were they truly the same Pikmin or just a different kind of Pikmin? From the first game? Nah. Oh, shoot. We love Louie. <laughs> well, guess, guess, uh... Guess we gotta go find him. All right. Ah, dang it. I hate when that happens. You know, you know, you go on a road trip, then you leave like I don't know, you're you're, you're like one of your siblings or or the elderly, elderly uh, relative behind. Uh, sorry, just feeling gassy. So while we see Louis thrive on the planet for a few minutes, uh, my final thoughts on Pikmin Two. You know, since these are credits, you know, I kind of like it more than the first game. You know. Like, I like that it's a bit harder, because, I mean, Pikmin 1, once you know what you're doing, it gets pretty easy, but 2, oh my god, you don't know what's going to come next. And, you know, I do like the new types, the, the three types, I guess, they introduce, rather than two. You know, Boldman, I'll start with Boldman, because, you know, they, they're immune to everything, but you, they can only be used in caves. It would be kind of broken if they went onto the surface. Whites and purples, I really do like using, though. They can carry stuff... White uh, white Pikmin can carry stuff faster, as well as move faster. And, and you know, you can feed them to enemies, but I don't tend to do that. And, uh... Purple Pikmin, I really do like. They are not immune to any hazard, which, which I think does balance out them being able to stun enemies sometimes. Because it, it doesn't work 100% of the time. As well as them being able to pick stuff up so I could be like, okay, you purple Pikmin, you just carry it to the ship and that's it. You know, while I, while we do st other stuff. that That is pretty useful. I also do like the two captain mechanic. You know, I can, as you can see throughout this playthrough, I do make use out of all, both Omar and Louie throughout the day. Like, I'm not just, I don't just pair them together. And I might be wrong in saying this or people might dislike it when I say it but I actually do like exploring caves you know you find items help you in the overworld you explore and yeah it is random but I do like exploring and as you can see zero Pikmin loss in all categories and it was like I, I can respect a game. I do respect a game if it makes me feel, like, you know, scared. Like, uh, you know, every time I see a Gatling Groink I, or hear one, I'm like, oh my god. Where is it? Hold on, can I just see that? Wait, what? There was only 35 yellows born? Huh. Wait, did I, did I throw some? Because I only went to throw, like, uh... Because I only meant to throw, like, uh, make 40. Like, you just, you only just need 40. Don't know where the other ones went. Alright, save. I would like to. Would I like to continue my adventure on the planet? Uh, not this part, unfortunately. So, I'll see you again next time, and we will begin our search for Louis. So, my name is Polly Williams, or you can call me Paul, and I'll see you all again next time. Have a good day, everybody.